Taro and coco yam are used as food in Togo, but the production is decreasing. And looking at why, we found that there are some constraints faced by farmers. And among those constraints, we have rainfall irregularity, soil infertility, marketing issues, and lack of planting material has the main constraint. My name is Bamit Damigu from Togo. I'm a researcher and a One Planet Fellowship Laureate. I've come to find out why in Togo we don't have enough cocoa yam and taro. This is taro. And one of the major problems we have with taro production is a disease called taro leaf blight. You see in the, this plant, the young leaves are burned like this. So this is seriously affecting the production of our farmers. And I'm collaborating with the Crop Research Institute to see how we can find a solution for our farmers. The first step was to collect across the country all the cultivated varieties. We realized that we have mainly three varieties of cocoa and four varieties of taro in Togo. When I established the collection, I maintained them on farm. I lost almost 50% of the collection. So we had to look at a technique which will help us improve the seed quality. That's where the tissue culture came in. I did not have any practical experience in tissue culture. So I quickly wrote a project that was submitted to, to us research fellowship program. And the project was founded and I had to stay to Crop Research Institute for three months. I was trained in vitro media preparation, the surface sterilization steps, how to isolate the explant, and how to manage contamination in the lab. I was also trained in improved technique that will help multiply the propagation material for farmers. We introduced in vitro all the varieties grown in Togo. At the end, we will take the seedlings uh, to harden them in a shade house. Then we will take them to farm. Then we will establish a on-farm collection. I can put this thing back. And that's so this on-farm collection will play two roles. This will be the time for us to multiply them again on-farm we will be sure that the selected varieties have added value in terms of uh, fight against food security and fight against the impact of climate change. No, so we cover the car, plant a... You know, our farmers used to cut the main comb, which is the planting material, in some pieces. For example, with this comb, they will get only eight seedlings or eight planting material using their technique. But with the technique I'm bringing to them, with only this comb, they can generate up to 100 seedlings. Because of One Planet Fellowship Program, I got so many tools. The first tool I got was the Purpose Roadmap. So the Purpose Roadmap 
helped me trim my career and I could now start looking at the keystones that would help me build this career. I got other tools which were leadership training. So through the leadership training, I discovered that I had some capacities that I didn't know before. This changed my way to act and I became a better person for my family and my other colleagues. So this interaction with other colleagues of, from different disciplines really improved my way to find a uh, suitable solution for farmers of my community. Mais aussi une production efficace, une consommation responsable. Et le marabi de la formation de ce soir sur la production du taro, communément appelé dans notre langue makani. Et aujourd'hui, la production du taro était faible. Maintenant, avec cette technique, nos parents peuvent mieux produire le taro pour plus de sécurité. Alimentaire. À propos de l'entretien que nous avons eu ce soir, j'ai pris conscience de l'impact du changement climatique sur la sécurité alimentaire, l'importance de préserver les cultures pour plus de sécurité alimentaire et l'adaptation au changement climatique. My mentor was the first person who pushed me into the research. When I started with the One Planet Fellowship, I did not find anybody who could push me more than him. He still do his best to encourage me, to give me some uh, light things and all what he could give to a son like me. Que il avançait, il me rendait compte. Et moi maintenant, en tant que mentor, je lui disais un peu ce qui est bon, ce qui n'est pas bon, ce qu'il faut consolider, ce qu'il faut améliorer. Et c'est comme ça que nous avons travaillé. Son sujet m'intéressait beaucoup parce que je suis dans le domaine de la sécurité alimentaire. C'est une plante qui est un peu menacée de disparition. Les gens ne le cultivent plus beaucoup. Ce serait bien qu'on le remette encore sur la sellette. C'est pour cela que lorsqu'il a choisi ce sujet, j'étais encore plus heureux de pouvoir l'accompagner parce que ça cadrait bien avec moi, mon domaine, la sécurité alimentaire. The second phase of the mentoring program gave us the opportunity to be a mentor. So I selected Mrs. Lina Akan. So together we are going to achieve a goal which is to identify an optimal multiplication technique for taro and cocoya. Avoir un mentor m'a beaucoup facilité la tâche parce que avoir les travaux du professeur et du docteur Bamité, ça m'inspirait beaucoup et avec son mentoring, il m'a poussé à aller plus loin, à me dépasser à vouloir atteindre l'objectif que je me suis fixé et à suivre son exemple pour arriver à réaliser mes projets. One Planet Fellowship and Award keep encouraging young scientists across Africa and by this doing, this will contribute to build a better Africa tomorrow. I want to thank a lot Award and One Planet Fellowship because through this program, um, today I am a changed person. <laughs>